So what tanks do I like to use? Well, at tier one, I really like this tank here. This is the T1 Cunningham. This thing reminds me of the Beverly Hillbillies truck. That old truck that they drove, that Jethro drove in the uh, Beverly Hillbillies TV show. I can just picture Granny sitting on the top here with a rocking chair and a rifle in her hand while Jethro's down here in the tank. Now the reason I like this tank, all these tanks down here at Tier 1, they're almost the same as far as guns and armor go. Every gun on every tank will penetrate the armor of every other tank. So it doesn't really matter which tank you use as far as that goes. However, there's one thing that is very important, and that is that you find the right balance of stuff. Now this is a medium tank. It's the only medium tank at Tier 1, the Vickers Medium. That's the British tank. There's no small tank on the British team. It's, it's got a wicked gun here. I call it the Baloney Slicer. You can go with the six pounder, but this one is like the Chicago piano. It's going to release an onslaught of bullets, and by the time you finish emptying the clip, your guy that you're shooting at is dead. But it takes forever to reload, and the tank itself is so slow. Top speed, 24 kmh, which is pretty darn slow. And forget going uphill. Forget going uphill in any of these. They will go uphill, but it is a snail's pace. This one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. This tank is not bad. And people like Jingle say that this is the best one at Tier 1. However, my only problem with it, it doesn't like hills. It only likes hills a little better than these tanks. But the T1 Cunningham, it's got good speed. It still has a pretty wicked gun that shoots an amazing round of bullets at your opponent. And at Tier 1, it'll pierce through anything at a relatively good distance. You get too far out and the gun is ineffective. So let's see how the T1 Cunningham does in an average Tier 1 battle. Here we have a typical Tier 1 map. And you're only going to see a select few maps until you get into the higher tiers. So you're only going to see like 5, maybe 6 maps at Tier 1. So now I'm just doing a general sweep of the area checking out the tanks that are with me deciding which way I want to go getting a feel for everything Move out. so now I'm heading to my favorite spot with this tank that's my favorite spot with most tanks uh, it's with, with a, with the exception of a few. Got to dodge traffic. It's like rush hour. You notice I just left three German tanks behind. And I'm settling into my spot. I want to settle into my spot before I start shooting at anybody. And I already got someone lined up. Well, there's one kill. Penetration. And I only had a couple rounds left, didn't have time to reload, so I get a, those couple rounds into them. 
reload before he disappears. And right here, yep, he disappears. And I shoot at the place where I think he might be, just to get a couple rounds into him. Waiting for another reload. There's a guy. I can't finish him, but I did get quite a few rounds into him. Look for my next victim. And this whole line here is great because it's rock, bush, rock, bush. Oh, there's my next victim. Top, starting to take a few pop shots at me. Ooh, one actually landed. So I'll back up a little bit behind the rock. Good rock. There's a guy. Can I take him out? I think somebody else already took that, that guy out. So I'll just go look for my next victim. Reloaded. And I got him. So now I'm up three tanks. Uh, German guys finally decided to uh, camp with me. I got a shot at this guy. Oh, he's a little far away, but I did get a couple shots into him. You lose a lot of penetration at but really far distances. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Oh, I got him. Took a blind shot and I got him. Oh no, I got a British guy with me as well. Looking for my next target. Sometimes people shoot at stuff. I have no idea what they're shooting at. I think people just get trigger happy sometimes. Looking at the map of the last reported spot. The mini map down there. The little red indicator. So there's a guy. His last re known reported location was right there. So I fired a few rounds there. The off chance that he might still be there. That guy ducked behind the house. Can't get at him. Now just a little patience. I think I stopped to type something. Send a message out to the other, to the rest of the team. You can't control your tank while you're texting, so I don't do it very often. You guys on the hill with me, keep me covered. I'm going for the cap. And that's the message I send everybody. If they listen to me. Well, sometimes they listen to you, sometimes they don't. And a lot of times. Your other teammates won't listen to you. I say, screw you. I got my own plan. <laughs> and then I seen the guy uh, get his butt handed to him. So here's the plan. We slide down this part right here. You lose your tracks almost every time. Without fail. So you just wait for the, re for the repair to kick in. And you get going again. If you try going over the cliff at any other spot, you go right into the water and drown. Sometimes this little spot right here is guarded. There might be somebody behind the house over there. And there might be somebody just off to the right. But it looks like it's good and open. Nobody's here waiting. So I make my move. Oh, there's somebody that just turned up. Try to take care of them. Get a few rounds into them. And 
get into my spot on this map. Right here is a perfect spot for capping because this house and fence are in the way. They can't really get at you and my guys have a good view to cover me. And one of my guys is coming to join me. Now that I'm out here, I think he's taking a couple of shots. But he gets out here. And he parks next to me because he knows it's a good spot. Now there's a spot right over here somewhere where they can fire at you. But you can fire at them as well. Oh, is that that guy's going to try to take me out now? But my guys are giving him a good pounding. And there he is. He's poking his head out. And someone's shooting from the other side. Gotcha. Took a few rounds from the other side. Now I've got five tanks down. Must have been, yep, there he is. He must have been firing from that spot I was just talking about. Hey, buddy. Welcome to the party. So now we're capping. They've only got one guy left. And he, he either has to take us out or lose and he's gonna get his butt handed to him as he makes the attempt but well, the cap is almost finished we're just sitting here waiting and my guys are gonna try to take him out no matter what and we're the, the two of us we're aiming desperately trying to find this guy and he's gone and that's what you can achieve in this tank when you have uh, the proper setups and enough experience, a few games under your belt. You notice I got quite a few medals here and I've even taken first place in this match. So the T1 can hold its own if played right at tier one, just fine. But what about at tier two? And you are going to get into a few tier 2 matches, like it or not, as you progress into the game. So here we are, we're on the same map, with the same tank. And the only difference is, I'm on the other side of the map, and this is a tier 2 match. Everybody's tier 2, except for just 4 people on my, guy, on my team, and 3 people on the other team. Someone's going straight up the hill. And they're probably going to get killed. Now you'll see that I'm turning around and I'm backing up. This is so that I expose only a minimal section of my tank. If I just go out forward, then I have to expose the whole tank to get that rear turret into position. Oh, he's just met three people. Four people. Oh, and he's dead five people. Going straight up that hill is a suicide run. Uh, we're down two tanks already. Now if you look at the bottom, the little squares, two of them are for ammo and the other two are my equipment. I have a camo net and I have the binocular uh, add-on. And that kicks in about five seconds after you stop. And as soon as you start moving in, it deactivates. And you'll see it light up and turn off. There it just turned off. And now I've selected for armor piercing ammo on my next uh, fill up of ammo. And I'm backing up. And as I'm pulling forward, I can pull forward out of my scouting position a lot faster than I could if I, if I was reversing. And I wanted to pull forward, but uh, this ho the chimney got in my way. Now this guy's sneaking up. I don't think I know it yet. Oh. Yep, I know it. But he can't see me yet. Well, he can't aim at me. He knows I'm here, and I know he's here. But he can't get a shot yet. The rest of my guys have already battered him down, and I'm able to finish the job. 
I didn't get a kill for that though. Somebody else must have shot in there and, and actually killed him. But nonetheless, I still got my rounds into him, so everything's good. I'm still alive. We're still down by one tank. So now I'm backing up into a scouting position. And can I take this guy out? No, but I can get a few rounds in. We didn't even scratch them. Wondering if I can get a few more rounds into this guy. But he's disappeared. And he's behind the house. Well, he poke his nose out. We didn't penetrate he probably only got one shot into him, but it bounced. And now we just look around for some more targets to get. Trying to look at both sides at the same time. My left side, my right side, my front side, my back side. You've only got one set of eyes, but you gotta keep a 360 perceptive here. And I get this T1. This is an easy target. Yes, us T1s are easy targets. This guy. Got a few rounds into him. We didn't even scratch them. Reloading. Waiting to see if one of these guys tries to peek over the edge of the cliff there to try to get a shot at me. If they do, they're exposed. Just like the way I stick my nose out here and get exposed too. Can I get this guy? Mm -hmm. A couple shots. They try to shoot back. One guy actually gets a hit in. I'm going to look at this corner right here. Because the guy just poked out and he might poke out again. Backing up. See if I can spot anybody else. I decide, decide to duck back down because I don't know what the threat is yet. Oh, my team take care of them. up again. Oh, I gotta shut up this guy, but the rock right there looked like the tank with the outline there, so that's what I actually hit. So that guy was safe. Was he safe from a second volley? Did I get a few shots in? I don't know. Assessing the situation. Ah, we're finally ahead by one tank. Oh, now we're tied again. Backing into position. I think I 
think that's the same guy. There's my first official kill. at this guy. Yep. Oh yeah, quite a few rounds going to him. Now I notice I've stopped moving. That's because at this point I decided to taunt the other team a little bit and send them a message. You'll see over on the left side of the screen, right above the tank display. I can't move my tank until I'm done typing. So I'm pretty secure. Oh, there's my message. My, my. A little T1 giving you all this trouble. And they've been trying to knock me out with no success. I still have over 50% of my health left and at tier 1 scouting for another victim Nobody pops up, so I decided to go back down instead of pressing my luck too long. Finally, some help arrives. I've told these guys I can't go up the hill because there's a big slugger up there and my engine is hit. So a couple of guys come up and uh, assist. So I'm not going up there by myself because I know there's a big meaty tier 2 waiting for me. Oh, let's rewind that and see that again. One of them tier two tanks tries to sneak over, exposes himself, and I got him. I taunt him some more. The name is Exterminator. I tell him one more up there. Actually, I might be wrong about that, because I'm not seeing anything left on the map. So I decide that enough of the enemy team has been taken out. And, uh, I finally decide, finally decide to turn my tank around. Wait for this guy to see what's happening with him. Alright, he's taken care of. So now I'm going to go up the hill. Very dangerous, this this whole line up here, both sides. This side over here has a hill going up too, and if you can get to it, 
If you go up this side, it's very dangerous because you're an open target. But with only three tanks left on the enemy team, I feel relatively safe. We didn't even scratch them. Oh. That one didn't go through. As you see, the first guy that went up here, he died instantly. But now all the threats have been taken care of. Now I can just slowly work my way up here. There's a couple of places where they can just get the right shot right in between a couple of rocks and take you out along this trail in a couple places. Another target pops up on the map, but I'm gotta get up this hill. Okay, I'm up. But everybody's dead. There's only one target remaining. He's right here. He's been here the whole time. If I'd have known that, I would have stayed down in my spot. But now, I'm the guy keeping eyes on him. Enemy armor is hit. Critical hit. He's not going to make a mistake of sticking his nose out that far anymore. I got a few shots into him, but I can't do anything more from up here except keep my eyes on him. Now the cap, we've been capping, but somebody left, so the timer went, ran down. Oh, now it just ran down again, almost back down to zero. Some guys from my team decide, to, hey, there's the guy. Let's go get him. I've been keeping him lit up for everybody. Now the rest of my guys can go finish him off. And that's what we have with the T1 Cuttingham at Tier 1 and at Tier 2, if played properly.